Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video, let's discuss about GitHub Copilot again. I came across this website which is GitHubCopilotInvestigation.com and this goes into a few interesting things about GitHub Copilot. The first thing which is also probably the title of this video is that how can you get sued if you are using GitHub Copilot and what is all this controversy by, with using GitHub Copilot and is Copilot trained on wrong code or wrong license code? Let's understand everything in this video. If you are new here, make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow so first of all let's understand what exactly is github copilot according to this article and we all know that copilot is an ai powered coding assistance or autocomplete tool the reason it is different from traditional tools is because it uses artificial intelligence to determine the context of what you need to do and then suggest you things right so you might as well just write a comment i want this to be done to try to understand that and it'll complete the code using that particular prompt. The way this works, the GitHub Copilot thing, is that it has been trained on a lot of open source repositories, right? That means a lot of open source repositories on GitHub, which are public in nature. GitHub Copilot developers, people who coded the Copilot, use that as a training data set. Well, the way machine learning currently works is that you supply a lot of data to a machine, you create an algorithm for the machine to learn, in this case Copilot, and just, you know, feed it a lot of information and it will be become better and better. Copilot is technically based on Codex. Codex is a code generation engine, I think based on GPT-3. I'm not sure if this is separate from GPT-3, but I, I guess this is GPT-3 itself, but for coding specific use cases. Built by OpenAI and this is in collaboration with Microsoft. So that is all good, but what is exactly wrong with Copilot? Well, nothing as such. I mean, if you're using it, then nothing is wrong as a developer, but you might be violating a lot of open source licenses. So let's understand a little bit about open source licenses first. So you see there are multiple licenses you can use as an open source project, right? So if you take a look at, for example, GNU GPL v3 license, it says that it has to disclose the source. Source code must be made available when the licensed material is distributed. So imagine if you're building a project which is a backend project and it's a private repository, but you're using a GNU GPL v3 source code. So you violate this particular clause, right? Again, a copy of license and copyright notice must be included with the licensed material, but you apparently would not if you are using something like OpenAI's Codex and GitHub Copilot for creating code from scratch because it would not know the license in the first place. Why? Because what Microsoft said, what GitHub said in a way is that, hey, AI training on public data is a fair use thing, right? This actually also mentions over here somewhere. You see the former CEO of GitHub has written that training ML systems on public data is a fair use. This is one of the things which Microsoft is using as a shield to say that, hey, even if we have trained co-pilot on repositories with certain licenses which require like attributions or you know you can't just bundle in your private repositories we still are okay because we are using it for ai training base right well that is where the conflict is in a way because that is not something which all people agree with some people think like it is not a fair use of thing because microsoft or github copilot is not built in a way which can attribute at what type of code is being generated by codex is the one which is ai based or it's just copy pasting code from some non-permissive repository right so here's one example just this week Tim Davis, for example, is one of the developers who shared it on Twitter that how Copilot is able to generate his proprietary code with just a prompt, right? So he said that, hey, I want to, you know, he just wrote a comment like this in C or C++, sparse matrix transpose in the style of Tim Davis, and it generated this particular block of code, right? So on the left, you see the code which he has written, which he is the author of with, with a license, which is probably not MID or, you know, not so permissive that it allows you to use the code without attributing where you have copied it from. And on the right, GitHub Copilot generated this code with this particular prompt where sparse matrix transpose CS was specified and it just generated one of the solutions as an exact copy of what the code is. So technically speaking, if you use a code like this, you are in a violation of this particular repositories or particular code based license, but you don't even know it, right? Because if you are, let's say, if you are really using GitHub Copilot and you don't know this code is exist out there, so you don't know that this code is an actual copy of something which is non-permissive in nature. So you see this particular repository, which is being questioned in this particular tweet comes under the license of GNU lesser general public license, which if you take a look at 
choose a license.com it's this particular license which has a condition of disclosing the source license and copyright notice same license library and state changes so i mean there are a few conditions which are available you know which are required over here as well so yeah this is a funny territory because you don't know exactly what to do on one hand it's a good it's a great tool which can help you you know just kick start a few things if you are in a hurry or even just get some help on something which you know exist out there some sort of algorithm for traversing let's say a tree or you know transposing a matrix in this case on the other hand you could actually get in trouble for using this code because you might be using code which you are not supposed to use without certain conditions being met so that is what is happening with this a bunch of people are creating a lawsuit against github because right now it's not it's not clear whether ai is a fair use using public data for ai is a fair use thing or not let's see what this entails let's see where this goes but that is all for this video i would love to know your opinions on this what do you think on this does this make your life well it doesn't make your life easier for sure but do you think this is a fair thing to fight against or do you think it's just another marketing stunt from the people who are trying to get this lawsuit up so that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching